What's up, Scrappy Peeps? Ed Stell from Inky Quill, and I'm here in the Inky June Marathon to do a bit of a video that you seem to like. From the views of this video that I've done prior, you seem to like this, so I thought I'd do one for you this month. This is a kit sorting type video using my Scraptastic May kits and an iris container that the beautiful Barbara has sent me. So I actually haven't looked at these kits very much. I got the This Life Noted kit and the add-on, which is part, um, which is like their Project Lifestyle kit. And I also got the Cake by the Ocean kit and the add-on, which is their main kit. But the great thing is with Scraptastic is you get, there's two main kits, so you get to pick which one's more your style. So there was Cake by the Ocean for May, or Are You Going My, Are You Going, are you going to go my way or my way something are you going to go my way I think that's what it is and it was more of a travel themed one um, but I decided to go for this one so play along and see how I sort my stuff so I'm going to move some of these so you don't get the glare I'm going to start with the main kit I think now someone in my Facebook group Scrapaholics Anonymous posted that the iris containers are no longer being manufactured which is really sad um, but Aussie girls there is an alternative at Officeworks I saw someone post um, a similar kind of container that has the divided section so what it is is it's just a it's a bit over 12 by 12 I think maybe 13 by 13 inch container and it has this really cool tray with movable little sections and I love it I love it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cut the manufacturing strips off all of these papers and then I'll come back and we can play which side does Adele like better? <laughs> so I actually realized before I cut off the manufacturing strips so I should probably tell you what the papers are in case you like them and want to get them. So we'll play which side does Adele like better right now. So the first one is a exclusive from Scraptastic Club and it's a cut apart and I really like their cut aparts always go with the the colors of the embellishments that they include so this is the cut apart and then the other side's just a beautiful grid and the great thing is is that if there's one of the squares that you don't particularly like like for me the green one because I don't really like green I can just use the other side so which side does Adele like better three seconds three two one it's this side of course it's this side so there's that one then there's this one from pink fresh studio and it's called happy words and I think it's from their felicity collection so there's some nice words on this side and then oh that's trippy kind of like a turquoisey aqua it looks like someone's bent paper that's really trippy on the eyeballs. All right, which side does Adele like better? Three, two, one. This one's actually tough. I think what I'll probably do is cut out the words on this one that I can use and then use the rest for this side. So that's a both sides one. <laughs> so everybody wins. Holy moly, okay. Um, yeah, oh wow, this is going to be an obvious one. So this one's pink paisley and it's 07. So there's a beautiful floral or green. Which one does Adele like? I'm not even giving you seconds to count. It's obviously this one. I can just see cutting out some of these as well. Oh, that's lovely. This one is also pink paisley. It's by, oh, it's the, oh, this is from Fancy Free. It's Paige's collection. Um, I love her, th oh, I love her new collection. I haven't got any of it yet. Yay. Um, so this one's 06 and it's a lovely grid. And I really like, she's very clever for doing this because it gives you a whole lot of papers without having a whole lot of papers, if that makes sense. And then this side's a luscious lime. <laughs> <laughs> Which side does Adele like? Obviously this one. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. I can picture me cutting out all sorts of shapes and things from that. Then there's this exclusive Scraptastic paper, which has got like a, it's kind of watercolory with a splodge pattern. And the other side is leaves. So, oh, it's called Rain Down. There you go. So which side does Adele like better? 
I think I like the leaves, yeah. I'm going to go with leaves for that one. Yep, leaves it is. Ooh, that reminds me. Oh, did anyone have, was it called a magna doodle? It was called something and you put spiradoodle, something with doodle in the title, and you put like different shapes. They were like cogs in a in a box and you put your pen in one of the holes and you you go around and it makes these patterns oh I love these please comment below if you are a 90s person and you had those as well magna doodle no magna doodle was the magnetic doodle board spiral doodle was it spiral doodle I don't know but I love it so this brings me back to my childhood and then this side is it's called right round and it's kind of like a red it's like a red cross with a diagonal over the top. Uh, Adele likes this side better. Yep, love that side. I think I'm going to do some childhood photos using this. That's just inspired me. This is another exclusive Scraptastic paper. Boy, Scraptastic got a few exclusives this month. It's a bit special. And this one's a lovely little blue cloud pattern. This would be perfect for a picnic day. It would be perfect for a little baby. It could be perfect for lots of just nice things. Oh, and then this side. They're like tiny, white, messy polka dots. It's called Up, Up and Away from the Food Family Story Collection. Oh, which side does Adele like? I'm going to go with the pink. I think I'm going to go with the pink because it's a really nice pink. It's not too pink, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, but that's hard. They'd be really cute together. Yeah, that's happening. And then you get some cardstock. So you've got pink cardstock, white. And then I use this as well. This is just the, the cardboard that keeps the paper straight, but I use this for backing. And then I think this is the add-on we're on to now, the add-on papers. So there's this one, exclusive Scraptastic. So it's like a it's like a diagonal stripe, a diagonal yellow stripe over yellow and pink paint splodges. And then this scribbly pattern, mm, closed lines. Which side does the daylight better? Three, two, one. This side, this side. I like it, this side. Red's my favourite colour, so it's hard to go past that one. This is another exclusive Scraptastic, and there's these little green little seedlings, little plants, and a yellow and green stripe called Go Green. Oh, which side does Adele like better? I think I'm going to have to go with the plants. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I am warming to yellow, I'm going to have to go with the plants for that one. Then this is from Pinkfresh and it's Life Noted. And it's like an ombre aqua. Or, oh, that's cool. It's called Pascal, I think. Grey and red. Which side does Adele like better? I'm going to go with the blue. Of course I am. <laughs> now, this one is a cut apart from Pinkfresh Studio from their Felicity collection. And it's got lots of little cutter parts. You could use them even just as a chunk or a strip, or you could cut them apart. And, oh, that's different. It's like a zentangle. What are those called? It's not a zentangle, but some I've seen them people draw and then do a draw a line and do a doodle at the end. It's like that. So this one's called flower strings. And I'm going to say that I like the cutter part better. My battery's about to die. Hang and on. Okay. Okay. All right, and I'm back. So while I was waiting, I did cut the uh, manufacturing strip off the papers that I've already looked at and cut the cut part into the apart parts. So now this next one is also from Pink Paisley Paige Evans and it's 04 and it's nice confetti, nice kind of messy confetti or a grey stripey thing. Which side do I like better? Bajing, definitely that one. That's just so beautiful. And it's it's playful without being too babyish. It's I really like it. This next one's also from Pink Paisley. It's 05, so there's a yellow stripe. Or ooh, that one. This reminds me of like a like a quilt or washi tape that's just been put over and over and over. Which one do I like better? Of course it's this one. Uh, then there's number 10 which is this really nice painty, circly fang. This would even just be perfect as like cut off a strip and do it as half of your page. I like that. Or ooh, a nice blue watercolour. Hmm. Although I like both sides, I think this one's easier for me to replicate. So I'm going to go with this one as my favourite. 
And there's a beautiful floral, which is number 11. And then on the other side, oh no, they're both really nice. Oh, that's a tie, guys. That's going to be really tough. Yep, that's a complete tie. Hmm, don't know how I'm going to walk around that one. I'll work that out somehow. And then there's some cardstock. So you've got your aqua, a mustardy colour and a hot pink. And then my favourite little extra thick bit at the back. So I'm going to cut off the rest of these strips and pop them in the container. And then I'll be back with the embellishments. All right, so the, all those are in there. Now what I like to do is put the alphas in there as well. So these are thickers from, they're called Fancy from American Crafts and they're glittery foam words. So there's some in a teal and some in silver. So I'll put those in. And there's also this alphabet, which is a little bit different. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Um, it's called, it's from Pink Fresh. It's from their Felicity collection and they're vellum. So they're they're see-through. Now obviously this one is not going to get used so I'm just going to place it at the back. <laughs> it's very green. That's like, that's very green. So but I can use the coral and the blue. It's just going to be interesting because if you put them, like you can see, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but you can see the dark colour behind them. So I'm going to have to make sure that I put them on a white background or yeah, they're going to be interesting to use. So I'll put those in there as well. I don't need to keep that. And then I think it's time for the top piece. So let's see, just try and move this so you can see. First, oh, grab that too early. Um, first off, let's go with this one. So this is the Pink Paisley Fancy Free um, Embellishments. So you can have a look there. I think there's a mixture of acetate and cardstock pieces and it's scissors so let me know if you're a scraptastic subscriber as well in the comments below on what kit you went for this may and i know you're saying adele it's june now may's been passed because i'm on the other side of the world i quite often don't get my kits until the end of may but i'm all good with that that's okay <laughs> They get to me when they get to me, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to put the two four by six cards. Oh, we focus. There we go. I'm going to put the two four by six cards underneath as well because they don't really. I mean, they could fit in there, but it's just easier to put them there. And I'm going to put the three by four cards. I might put them here. I think. There we go. And that still gives me one to put down there somewhere. So, I think I might actually separate these into acetate and non-acetate pieces, just because sometimes you're looking for a piece that's see-through and sometimes you're really not looking for a piece that's see-through. So, I think that's the biggest bit, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, these are beautiful. And there seems to be some uh, silver foiling on some of the pieces. I'm going to put, oh, isn't it nice that they organised them for me? They did all of the <laughs> non-acetate pieces at the, um, at the back. And then here's all the acetate. So I'll put those there and put this up as close as it can be. And done. So that's those. Then there's also the Pink Fresh Studio Life Noted Words. I've been seeing quite a few people online using these. I'll show you what they're like if you haven't seen them. But they're just acetate words, which is, which is kind of cool. Something a bit, a little bit different. Or do I actually want those cards in here? I think I might change this. Yep, changing because I want to put the stamps over there. So if I put the words here, and put those as close up as they can be and then put the cards there that gives me a little bit of room for something in the middle then we've got the these are the exclusive um, like 
embellishments, I guess you'd call them. They're cardstock embellishments from Scraptastic. You are pretty cool. True life. A label. Another label. Very cute. So, oh, no, just too small. I think I'm actually going to include these with the pink fresh ones because they're all the same kind of colours and they're all the same kind of thing. Then we've got these ones. These are the puffy stickers and I'm thinking they might actually fit in down here really well. So like I did last time, I'm just kind of going to exclude, excuse Aaron and his <laughs> man flu. He's only just developed it and I'm hoping that he doesn't pass it on to me. I'm just going to cut these up just to make them a little bit easier to fit in and a little bit easier to use. There we go. Then we have some tiny wood stickers. Yay! Now, these are a bit tricky, aren't they? Hmm. These might actually, I think I'm just going to actually, because I've had the Pink Fresh Studio before and I don't know, I think it's a fault in the way that they cut them, but they, they basically cut through. So it's very, once you use one word, it's very hard to keep them, the backing paper all together. So I'm actually going to keep those as is and just put them underneath because, oh, maybe I can put them here and the stamps can just go on top of them. Yeah, I might do that, but the chances of them staying together are next to impossible. Then what's in this baggie? Now, like I said, I haven't actually, I had a really, oh, good one, Adele. I had a really quick look at the kit when I made my choice um, as to which one I wanted, but I haven't watched any videos using it. I haven't um, looked on anyone's blog posts. I saved that until I actually get the kit. So it's kind of like an extra little surprise. And I keep this, well, usually I don't rip them that badly, but I cut them down to there. And you can use it as like a little pocket for hidden journaling or a little hidden tag or something. So this is the stencil. Now you get the stencil if you've been a member if you've been a subscriber, I think, is it three months, is it? Or if you've got the kit last month, I'm not sure, but you don't get this automatically. You have to be a subscriber for a certain amount of time and it's kind of like a, a messy water droplet. It matches the paper. It matches the exclusive paper that's in here. So I'll be using that. I'm going to put that in there. And then we always get some flair and these ones are designed by Caitlin Schaefer. Exclusive for Scraptastic. Let's have a look. We've got that little cute one that says see photo. We've got one of the doodly graphy spiral thingies. <laughs> and then a really nice blue one. So they'll be sweet to use. I'll pop those in here. And then I keep this as well. I always keep that because you can easily use that um, in a layout. Then for the vellum pieces, we have some little diamonds, which are sweet. So I'm going to put those in there. And then we always get some wood veneer and some glittery foam bits and some acrylic pieces as well. So, let's see, we have some little wood veneer birds. Oops, lost one. So some wood veneer birds. They're really cute. Oh, I'm losing everything here. <laughs> so I'm going to pop those in one of the spots. We've got lots of glittery foam stars, which are sweet. We've got an acrylic hashtag and some acrylic exclamation marks. So they'd be really nice to put in a, um, you could even just stick those to a, like a, one of the pocket cards. Add a sticker down the bottom and or your journaling and you're done that's a really it's really different I like it I'm gonna put the acrylic pieces down here and I think I might put the can that go down further no that one can um, I think I'm gonna put these foam bits with the vellum I think then we have the stickers so these are from the 
oops, focus. These are from the Food Family Story collection. So I'm going to cut these up. And I think, apart from the big, mm, some big cloudy pieces, I might be able to fit most of them in there, I think, except for the clouds, which I might have to put up there. So I just prefer to cut them up. I feel like I use them a lot more if I actually cut up the, um, the stickers. I don't know. It could be a weird psychological silliness within me <laughs> but I just feel like I I'm more likely to use them this way so cut them up and I don't cut them neat I cut them quite messy the cloud oh can you move up a little bit please tiny word stickers just a little bit there you go that can fit better I'll put the cloud down the bottom so that it doesn't cover up um, what's underneath it and cut these ones up will that fit nope <laughs> so these just have really cute things like a lot of like you know flying kind of references i think these will be cute um for some childhood photos because obviously i don't have any kids yet but it would be they they kind of like the kite and things they kind of give a bit of a childhood childhood kind of flavor I guess you can say pop that one in there and I do if possible try to keep like like things together so these crosses can go in together this little one can't you're all by yourself sorry little guy and then I'm not fussy cutting with my giant scissors for once. <laughs> it's because these ones were the closest at hand. <laughs> I'm going to put the cloud down the bottom just so it makes it easier to see. So that's the main kit and the add-on, um, the Cake by the Ocean. And then I also get the stamp sets for those. So this is the Cake by the Ocean stamp set. And so what I do is I take it out pop it in there and then I do keep this because that's what I'll store them in once the month is over and on the back I usually just write down like what it is so if I put flowers I'll know that it's that it's this one and then this is the are you gonna go my way which has all of the months and days of the week so so flexible you can use that in your planner you can use that in your project life you can use that just for journaling you could stamp the day and then write your journaling and even put your lines and your bullet points. Very flexible stamp there. Come on. <laughs> and then I put these right down the bottom for when I pack the kit away. So that's the main kit and the add-on. And now I'm on to the This Life Noted kit. So I think this is the main kit, yeah. So this is the This Life Noted kit, and I mix all my stuff together. Um, I just find it it's easier that way, it's nicer that way. Um, I do have, actually, yeah, I'm just going to put it all together. So we've got some, let's do the cards first, because once you see the cards, you kind of get a sense of the whole kit. So this is This Life Noted kit, and it's um, their Project Life one. So I'll quickly go through the cards for you, and they're really thick, like... I used to think that Studio Calico had the thickest cards, but Studio Calico's quality has gone down, in my opinion, and Scraptastic are definitely the most solid cards I've ever seen. So this is a cute little fruit salad one. I like the pink side better. I think it just makes them pop. We've got thumbs up, thumbs down, or up, if you're always looking on the positive side. <laughs> We've got a five, because it's May. We've got, you can put some journaling on those lines. We've got that same pattern repeated from the stencil. It's really cute. That'd be perfect for an Instagram. You could take, maybe use, um, what I do is I, <laughs> you laugh, but I know you all do it. I sometimes stalk my friend's Instagram accounts sometimes and say if they do something or take a really nice photo, like one of my, one of my best friends recently just got engaged. And so I took a photo that she put online and I've saved it and I'm going to put that here and I'm going to put photo by and her name because um, I didn't, I wasn't there when they got engaged because they were in another state and 
that would be third wheeling it. <laughs> Definitely. But I know you all stalk other people's photos. And if you've got kids, this is a perfect opportunity. Stalk your kids' social media. Put a little photo in because often they don't like, especially the teenagers, they don't like posing for photos, but they do on their own Instagrams and Facebooks. So this says, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but it says, in this place, at this time, with these people. Today's story... And I really like that there's a combination of, so this is vertical orientation and then horizontal orientation, but not all the cards are like that. Sometimes they're just a different colour because most of us scrap with three by four cards going that way. It's, you know, it's not usual that every card is that way. So I like that they only do that for some of the cards, not all of them. So that's currently. Let's hang out. That's a pretty May. I like that. That green crosshatch, which you could see in that red paper. Oh, that's cute. You could put like a little heart or something between it. Pretty. So that's one set of them. And then the other pack. So you get a butt ton of cards with this. Absolute butt ton. Never not loving you. Oh, that's so cute. And then if you are not never not loving someone, you can just use it for the flowers. <laughs> I'm not like a regular mum. I'm a cool mum. Totally going to put that with a picture of my mum. And then time out. Some red florals. I like that they give you two options. So there's usually like a louder, brighter one and then a more neutral. Some nice... Oh, they echo some of the papers. Today was awesome. Bad choice, good story. Hmm, that'll be an interesting one to try and find a photo for. That's a little tulip. Some hexagons. Hexagons are all the rage. Some glasses. Just happy to be here. Lemons. Here it is. Every time I see something that says here it is, I just think of the song, whoop, there it is. Is that how it goes, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not there, it's here. Yeah. But whoop, there it is. Yeah. Pretzels. I'm totally going to keep this for when I come to America because... You sell pretzels in vans over there, don't you? And the big ones too. <laughs> the big pretzels, yeah, not like the little pretzels, the big pretzels. I'm so desperate to get a big pretzel in New York. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that card for that. Pop those there. And then we have the 4 by 6 cards. And there's usually some cutter parts in here as well. I'm just going to pause my camera because it's almost run out of space. And I'm back. So there's this little doggy. That's cute because it's bottoms there and it's heads there. Oh, that's really sweet. I like that one. And then that echoes some of the paper. Those beautiful florals again. You are so cute. It's ridiculous. I like that. I like that side. Some blue little squiggly things. Living this life, collecting moments, recording memories. That's my, oh, that's my side, definitely. And then this is a little cut apart. So I probably will end up cutting these apart and putting them in here. So I'm going to leave that to the side. And then this one, which I'll end up cutting apart as well, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to put these underneath. And then we have, hang on. Oh no, that's the add-on. Sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Here are some labels. There's some little vellum, like bunting little shapes. So I'm going to put those with the other vellum. Oh, cute! I'm going to put that with the alphas down the bottom. Some labels. Where can you fit, Mr. Labels? There, you can fit there. I'm going to cut these apart so that they fit. So these are exclusive Scraptastic labels. You just don't fit. There you go. Cut them in half down there. Perfect. Um, and then we've got some more exclusive little banners. So there's some that are coloured in and some that are just the outline. I'm actually going to put those with the labels because they're, they're kind of labels, I guess you could say. Then we have some cork. Ooh, I like cork. Okay, so I've got some little 
cork one, two, three. So I'm going to put those with the wood veneer. Then we've got some acrylic arrows, which are sweet. Put those with the acrylic. And then this can't be real life. Mama, you're doing great. And punching today in the face. Oh, I like that. <laughs> These can go there. Perfect spot. Then we've got the This Life Noted stamp. You always get a stamp. And there's just some really generic, very flexible little things. Dance party. Love that one. Aaron and I are, you know, quite familiar with the impromptu dance party. We do often do that when we are procrastinating from cleaning the house on a Saturday morning. We will put on some of our favourite gangster wrap and have an impromptu dance party. Yep, true fact. So I'm going to peel off this little label of the flare and I can see some foiling in here and I can see that it's copper and copper is my favourite type of foiling. I'm going to pop the little bag because I keep the bags. So I've got a thumbs up and a you and me and the you and me the camera's totally not picking it up but it's bronze like rose gold foil love them this is the stencil that if you're a member for a subscriber for so many months you do get this so it's some nice lines and you could even just trace through those for journaling on cards as well and you could also trace through those or put some paint or modeling paste i'm up for a mixed media page this month so i'm going to be using my stencils this month to give you some ideas then we've got the add-on over here Okay, so for the add-on we've got an acrylic grow. Perfect fit. Then I haven't got this. We've got the currently um, embellishments from Project Life. I do like that Project Life has started realising that people do like to embellish their Project Life pages and they don't like to always do it the simple Becky Higgins way, which is just with a freaking pen and just the cards, you know. Like sometimes we like to put a nice little sticker or a nice little embellishment or 20 on our spreads and sometimes we don't that's fine as well but sometimes we do and they should cater for those people so these I think hmm, this isn't going to work is it what's that big one I think these big ones are just stopping everyone so they can fit in there and then these, that one can fit in. And these big ones, houses and a random desk, I think I might put at the bottom over here. There we go. Perfect. Then we also get these. I guess, I guess they're from that same... Are they from the currently... Yeah, I think they are because they're using the same icons. These little paper clip little thingies, which are really cute. They'd be perfect for your Project Life spreads. I'm going to pop you in with the wood veneer. There you go. And then, sorry, those bags are annoying me. <laughs> and then you also get some cards. So we've got this one, which has one, two, three, four, five. So you could write different things on there and same as the paper and then grow old with me oh that's cute it's a little bit cute and then the three by four ones are the trick to growing up without growing the trick is growing up without growing old Oop. and then black and white then you've got some words in both vertical and horizontal and they're all about multiplying evolving cultivating thriving stretching that type of thing, all positive stuff. Big things often have small beginnings. That's very appropriate for me at the moment because I'm going on some big adventures with my scrapbooking, trying to trying to make it a, a full-time type of thing, which will be really exciting. More videos for you guys that way. <laughs> uh, then we've got some little journaling with a leaf. You could match that perfectly with the tulip, the red one that was in the main This Life Noted some arrows you could have them going up to a photo or down and that side I think I like 
I like that side. Growing pains, and then a little bit of grid. We've got the grass is greener where you water it. Mm -hmm. Love grows here, which is cute. Oh, a little seed. That's really sweet. Right, reach new heights. Lots of positive ones in this. There are so many. Look at how many cuts. So this is from the main, the cutter parts and the This Life Noted kit. Look at all those. So then if you take away the cutter parts, look at how many cards you get from just the This Life Noted kit and add on. Like there would have to be a lot. <laughs> that would, even if you scrap as many photos as I do, that's definitely a month's worth, if not a gazillion times more like there's just so much so many cards and that's what I really like because I found with some other kit clubs you do get a lot of filler stuff whereas with Scraptastic you get a lot of cards which is what you really am buying the um what well, I buy the kits for anyway so now I'm just going to cut these up in two seconds ready and I'm back so what I did is I actually decided to keep that one together as like a three by four card and then if I want to cut it apart I can. I've got these ones which I'm going to put with the labels because they're like when, where, why. And then these are also labely ones but yeah I think I wasn't sure if I was going to put them in there or what I was going to do but I think I will. And that's it. So you can see that my box is exploding with goodies. Um, I have got to catch up on a lot of project life and layouts. So this will be very handy to you. So you'll be seeing lots of layouts using this. So let me know if you like this video. Give me a bit of a, a thumbs up and a comment as to what your favorite piece from the kit was. Uh, my personal favorite, hmm, it's a tough choice. It's a tie between the tiny word stickers, even though they cut all the way through Pink Fresh. I still love tiny word stickers. They have my heart always. And I'm going to have to say the amount of cards that you get because I swear it multiplies every month. And the fancy free because I haven't had that. So they're my three favourites. Let me know in the comments below what your three favourites were from this kit. And also let me know by giving me a thumbs up and a comment if you'd like to see this type of video every month. Um, I'm also going to have a go at getting my hands on the Officeworks container that's like this. Um, comment below if you've got it and what you think of it. I know you can't move the dividers in the Officeworks one, but it still does the same kind of thing and you can make it, you can make it work, make it work how you need it to work. Um, so I'm also going to do that for some of my DIY kits that I have and just maybe some collections as well. So thanks and I'll see you again tomorrow because it's the marathon and I'm here every single day. Woohoo! Bye!